Hello and welcome back to another episode of Yogbox. You are joined here by myself, Mr. Ghost 917 Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode. If you do like this episode, please do like, comment and subscribe if you aren't already. So thank you very much and let's get back into it. Okay then. Um, I was about to jump off, but I realised I'm probably going to take a ton of damage from that. So let's not. From last time, I've upgraded the farm a very little bit. So this side we have got all the special stuff like Brussels sprouts, mustard, cucumbers and an extension onto here, peanuts, chilies and onions. We've still got the carrots and uh, potatoes. Yes, potatoes. Over there we've got the cotton here and then we have got the wheat on a little bit of an expansion over here around the corner. So this is a wheat and it's hopefully going to eventually all be wheat there. So we're going to have a ton of wheat coming in. Hopefully this is all going to be automated at one point. Um, and that's pretty much all I've done. I've harvested a ton of trees. So I've got absolute ton of wood now. Um, so I'm going to store that in there. Um, this episode though, I am thinking we definitely need to get some mining done. But... Hello my friend. I, just, I was just so shocked to see you here. Didn't even know you popped in my door. Okay, let's check that there. I believe we have four now. Yes. So, is it four or is it eight? I can't even remember. I hope it's four. Nope, it's eight. It's eight. Okay. That is what I want. Tier one... Cr oh, no. That's not what I want. That's what I want. Inferium seeds. And it does require eight. So I do need to get some more of that. I believe you can get it via mining. Um, so that helps. But also zombies drop it quite a bit. Um, so we're going to actually be carrying on our exploration of this dungeon. Because I'm wanting to. It's going to be good fun. Um, I enjoy splunking. Uh, let's go this way. We were actually very sceptical because of torches. And so, yeah, we still don't have many torches now. Ow! Where the hell did you come from? You came from up there. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm really bad at Elvis impression. Don't. I, I, I wouldn't even call that an impression. I'd call that a failure. Where has he come from? Oh. Oh. Okay, we've got a nice little cave here. Ow. You're a little bit tougher than the normals. Oh my god. Okay, I don't even know what I'm doing here. There's so many resources. So we've got coal here. Um, I'll probably mine all of that in a minute. Copper. Yep, there's a ton of nice copper there. Okay, what's this over here? bitumous coal or more fuel mods okay i can mine it okay looks like it's a replacement for coal i believe by the sounds of it it's quite a bit of it here it's quite a nice vein that is um does it burn hotter three two hundred oh yeah so it's double the usage okay and that does, like, probably double the usage of coal block as well. We've got iron here. Um, yeah, we've got iron quartz from Thorncraft. Okay, that's just standard nether. That's copper again. Copper, iron, copper, tin. Got some tin here. And that's back into the dungeon there. I uh, will mine all this in one second. I just want to see what ores are around. Okay, what is this? Water crystals from Thorncraft. Some strange tingling feeling, what does it mean? Some rest may inspire you. So basically it's telling us to go to sleep. Okay. That makes sense. That's blocked off. Let's just get the rest of these resources. Okay, so we have actually made it back into the end of the dungeon here. Um, so I've got a few more to mine over here. Um, I've mined pretty much all of the resources in this area now. Okay, I can get that just. Okay, what else have we got here? Ooh, inferior. Oh, that's good, because that gives us the um, 
Inferium, so we can actually start that mod. Copper, quite common. Coal is common, obviously, and this is some more Inferium here. Okay, I just, just got to double check, because it's always diagonals, isn't it? I can hear a baby zombie. Okay, so we're actually getting into the next level of the dungeon now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block that off. Because I do not want to be going there yet. So I'll get this coal and I'll be back on track. Okay, so I just found some actual fossils here. So I do not have enough room in my inventory for all of these. Uh, spider's eye, because I don't do so much crafting. So let's get this last bit of copper there. Um, and let's head back to the base. I think I could probably come up here. There's a bit more copper there, but you know, you know my luck. Not gonna, I'm not gonna get that. I'll find like 20 more. This is so common, this stuff. Okay, we are back in the door of our base now. We kind of need a mining chest, don't we? I think that's gonna be the next port of call. Let's get that stuff in there. And let's make ourselves a chest. I don't think I want to use the maple wood. Let's use the oak wood instead. Yeah, I've had to switch to my iron pick. Because, well, yeah. I ran out of stone pick quite a while ago. Okay. Got this. Probably best downstairs. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, like, right here. And we can put any rare valuables in here. Like that. Uh, I want to take that out. Okay. That looks good to me. Now start filling in some of the holes here. With these bricks that I'm getting from downstairs. Don't want to fill that in. Fill that in. Fill that in. Okay, so what I do want to want... I was looking for a grindstone... Uh, uh, a watering can, but there's only the Infernium ones. There is only that grinder there. Uh, why am I typing stone? It won't come up with anything. So we can't double the ores very easily. Um, there's a very easy grindstone that you can use to double ores. Okay. Let us... That is not what I meant to do. Do that. Could build one more. But we do not have enough. Let's sleep while we are higher. And let's go and plant these seeds in the next... In the fresh day. Um... With these seeds, we'll be able to start growing Infernium, which is that essence that we were getting. Just hopefully in a bit larger quantities. I'm going to start it this side. Do not want that zombie stamping my crops. I think they've removed that from quite a while ago, though. From the game. Zombies and stuff trample crops. However, I could be very wrong. Because that was one of the most annoying things. Because they used to spawn on your crops and just instantly stamp on it, so to speak. So, it was a little bit weird. I'll probably be removing this whole mountain at some point. And building this into a whole farm dock area. Probably going to level this as well. Wow. Okay, that grew right in front of my eyes there. But some dock thing here as well. Oh, I've got plans. I'm just not very good at implementing my plans, I will say. Okay, seed in there that in there strange dreams oh yeah that's indicating about how to proceed next in that mod pack um a thorncraft i remember this one from before okay okay that is where we took the exit last time so we're going to go right here and find out what is here we got a cake a lovely cake so it's also coming through to this which is good so that means we have basically done a full loop. We've almost oh my god, apples galore, protection. A very, very nice bow. Superior craftsmanship. Wow, that sounds pretty good, I will say. Whether it is very good is a different matter. Very skeptical of this area. It's a nice room though, I do like it. I I'd love to build this into like a forgy area that would be so nice yeah 
I might. I, I want to use this basement area. I will admit. Like, it's nice. But there's limitations to it as well. Getting some seeds. I'm out of torches. Oh, there's a continuation of this. Sort that. Okay, let's just take all of that. Sharpness one, unbreaking and mending. It's exactly the same as mine. Okay, let's put that on because I believe that has protection and unbreaking. So it should be a little bit more better. Is that a cobblestone generator for us? An anvil? And this is the, um, I believe this is the automated. Yeah, this is the automated smelter. So you put ores there, coal there, outputs to here. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. Um, can I do... No. Doesn't work how I thought it would. I thought it joined to the sides. I think that's why they probably haven't done it. Uh, I've got sticks and I've got coal. I keep getting coal out of this place. That is an unsanctioned way down. However, this ore I do want. That sounds like this hostiles. Oh, very nice. Very nice. There's a lot of them down there. Shall not be going down there, though. This coal is also good. Get the copper while we're here. See, this is just my grand older memory coming back of just how many ores and stuff there is to mine in this place. In this place, in these mod packs, it's like you just could spend a day just mining and you still wouldn't have mind anything in one cave system it's i could spend like 20 episodes just mining um doesn't seem to be too much up there though okay we are at stairs down now think this should be a safe-ish area at the bottom and then it gets dangerous okay not such a safe area down here Okay, I can kill a creeper quite easily around the staircase. I learn something new every day, right? Okay. That's the only way that does not have... That joins around to that. That seems like the dead end way that way. Which is unfortunately where all the mobs are. Okay, I want to deal with baby first. Ow. Ow. Luckily, they only have an amount they can hit per tick. Oh. Oh, lost it. There you go. Okay. Probably clean up while I'm here. What's in the chest? Uh, nothing I can take. Uh, very nice pick, though. Okay, what am I... Okay, can I do this? Oh, no, no, I can't. Not without getting attacked. There you go. Get the chest. Put the chest down here. Fill it with stuff. I want to keep my ash keys tome on me. There you go. Once that's filled with stuff, I come back here and pick up all of this. And then... Oh, very nice. I picked the uh, correct way first time. However, I do admit I did leave myself zero blocks to do anything with. Let's grab some blocks. I don't have many at all. Let's get wood instead, then. Wood should keep us... Oh! That was... Uh, Not good. Spawner at the end of that one. Let's go this way with zero access to torches. However, uh, seems a fairly friendly ish. Let's get rid of that for now. Okay, there's a lot of uh, brewing stuff I can see here. So I believe this would be a brewing area. Quite possibly. I have no coal. I'm 
literally out of torches. Like, uh. Oh. There's nether wall. Okay. Not what I expected to see down here, though. Melon. I don't get anything from it. And I don't get anything from that. I thought you could break them. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's all we can do for adventures for now until we build some more torches. So I'm going to just run everything upstairs. And then we can get on with the next part. Okay, and I'm back. I've dropped everything upstairs in my base. Um, all in the uh, storage chest. I've created a dump chest that I will sort at some point. However, I'm back here. Um, I thought I was going to explore the one over there. But I just remembered there's one here. I want to check. Uh, I may not be able to take this because uh, there's a spawner in there. Well, at least if they come outside, they die. There's a lot of them. Oh, he sent me on fire. This could be a good mob farm. I will say. Uh, well, the spawners are in the ground. Okay. Okay, bye. I am going to do what they call in modern times, cheating. Okay, so they are still bloody coming for me. Round the side. Seriously? How many can there be? Oh, you're armoured. Yeah, have a look at the numbers here. There's probably at least four spawners in there. He's stuck there. Ooh, you've got out. You're a... Okay, mini babies. I think that's to stop you doing exactly what I'm doing. Wow, that's pointless. And that's pointless. Okay. That's utterly pointless. I got... Techno bleh, technological marvel. Uh, iron horse armor. And some food bundles. For the ancient warfare mod. Which is actually a really good mod. That is a mod where you can build your own village. So thus, I think that will be probably our choice. A villages, ancient warfare. We'll be building an ancient warfare village. Uh, however, millionaires is, I think, better, but ancient warfare has more to it. This is what I was coming to check out. It is a massive library. Okay. Pottery shards, stone tablets, the never ending story. Obtain a stone tablet from a relic. Was that a relic shrine? Scrap from a relic scrap. Ooh. I like in this place. I should uh, possibly have used this as my base. Instead of all the chests. Oh. Of. Have I accidentally run into another place? No, I don't think so. I don't know what I've done. Okay, what I'm going to do though, replant those. Because knowing me, I'm going to lose them. And then I can come back here for more. Seems to be the only stairs is up here. Okay, let's go. That did not sound good when it said all chests of that place is unlocked. That sounds like I'm thieving. So we've got an absolute ton of bookcases. Hidden chests above the doorway. Always go for the hidden chests, right? Okay, I can't see... Ah, there is two that side. Very nice. See, I'm I'm slowly spotting them. Ooh, obsidian. Okay, I think that is pretty much it, though, for this area. Yeah, there isn't much to it. It is purely a uh, library, I believe. But it's a very nice building. It's a shame it is halfway in a mountain. If it wasn't halfway in a mountain, it'd be a lot better. I'd probably even make it my home, to be honest, if it wasn't halfway in a mountain. Unfortunately, it is, so it's not going to be my home. It's too, I don't know, just too 
crushed inside the mountain. A little bit small as well. A little bit small. Um, but yeah, I'm going to investigate this oil. I believe there is oil. Oh, God. Um, 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 render distance. You have just thank you have just saved me. Maybe not saved me, but shown me uh, something I uh, possibly want to go and explore. Looks like a very highly advanced millionaire's castle. And that looks like a watchtower up there, or is that a gigantic temple? What the hell have I discovered? That is a gigantic temple. Okay. What have I discovered? New village located. Bangda Kurda. A type of uh, Gan culture. Indian. 200 meters to the west. So where are we? Uh, that's not a friendly place. This is a hostile castle. I see the red names. This is a raid location. Raid, raid, raid. So that's the one to the west, I believe. Oh, no. I am so dead here. I'm so dead. If this is their castle... Yeah, this is their castle. I have made grave mistakes. I have made a grave mistake. I have made a grave mistake. Oh, lordy. Okay, they're not running too far from their base. Okay. Ah, uh, that is definitely something. I'm not going there again. Core blimey. Let's take all of these. Sugarcane's going to help us. Do we have Pam's Harvest Craft in this? Pam's Harvest Craft. Yes, we do. So that means we have upgraded food, basically. So you can make, like, an apple into apple juice or fruit punch. It gives you more. So nice. Could... I think I can cook this toast. Cook this bread into toast? No, yeah. To make toast nowadays, you need butter, don't you? Which is sugar and cream. Cream is from milks, uh, cows, and yeah. I think. Yeah. So it's a bit of a longer process now. But toast was used to be really good. You used to cook just bread. Oh, there's spawners here. Okay, you do actually break spawners. Ow. Ow. Okay. You're down. Grab the first chest. I believe there is probably going to be spawners on every level. Yes. Out. Okay, I've let them two shoot each other. Okay, that's that done. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, GG. That's my first death. What's that? Recent developments between the villages have been and gonna have improved relations between them. They are now good. Oh. I'm gonna sleep before I head back. They're now good, so the two of them are loving each other basically. They're like friends allies okay we are back at the tower now hopefully yes it is purely just gravestone mod is it an easy gravestone oh what no it's a break one so you can't just shift or right click it uh okay my stuff has gone everywhere let's get a torch out uh, I have not got my sword with me. Let's plot that up. Okay. It's got a couple of torches there and a stone pit. Not even slightly concerned about the stone pit. I'll be honest. It can just uh, get destroyed for all I care. Waypoints. Lights. I'll remove that. Okay. So I believe it is over this way. I just hear a spider behind me. I really need to get my uh, uh, three. There you go. Let's get a sword out. 
That way, at least I can fight something. I believe it's this way. I saw another village. One that looked a bit more advanced, I think. At least I believe it was. That is a, a standard vanilla one, I believe. Have got a temple here. Right here, but... I don't think I'm going to go into it. I could. I might as well. Might as well. Let's go. This is easy to get these places done. You just do this. There you go. You, you, you just mine down this way. I am out of inventory room though. This way you can avoid hitting any of the pressure plates. Uh, oh, there's only one pressure plate these days. Oh, there you go. Uh, gonna have to come back. 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 Oh my god, the ender. Ooh, beauty. It's also staff of traveling. I will come back to this place eventually. It's also pitch black in here. There you go. Okay, let's mine my way out. There you go. Is there anything I can dump in a chest just to pick up this? Let's do this and that. Uh, what sugar cane I want. Okay, that. This way, I just want to pick up that stuff, so. Because I like sandstone. Sandstone's nice. Or, oh, it could be nice. Okay. I don't want terracotta. Nah, don't care about terracotta. I believe I'm fully tramped in here. Yep, yeah, I'm fully trapped in. Okay, let's mine our way out. Okay, where was this village I saw? Where am I? So, so that village is here. It's this way. So I'm needing to go way more left. Uh, I think even more left again. Past the oil. I'm thinking. Yeah, I think Sky Island's nice. I like Sky Islands. Sky Islands are nice. Ooh, okay, so I've arrived here and I've seen a very nice palace. Hostile. Hostile palace. Very hostile. Shoot on sight hosti hostilities. Okay, one day I will be able to take these, guys. One day. I believe that is the wall I saw down here, yeah. Oh my god, that place looks amazing! We have so got to take, like, one of those over as our future base. I want the one up on the hill, though. The one on the hill was... Ooh. Indian build. Oh, uh, this is part of theirs. So I'm not going to steal. Yeah, I'm not going to steal. Not like that. Okay. So, ooh. Hello. A bada 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 to you two. Uh, can't speak to him. Okay, GG. Okay, this is a nice nice little town here. I think this is a small one. Um, yeah, very small. Because this is not the one that's next to my base. This is the one that next to the next to one of my base. What? So that's the one next to my base over there. That's the volcano and the library. And this is a small little one next to next to them again. And that looks like a hostile place over here. I think I'm getting the idea of what looks hostile. If it's nice looking, it's hostile. Yep, yeah, definitely very hostile. Oh, he just killed a bunny rabbit. Oh my god, he's so harsh. Okay. So we're definitely not going for any of those places yet. I would love to. Absolutely love to. But I cannot. I do not have the armor to. I don't have the inventory room to loot it either. I need some decent inventory room. So it looks like they are actually progressing on the wall. They are almost done on a surround wall. These villages progress so quickly. I'm left in the dust. Okay. Okay, you are a little kid. Ah, so as soon as I come in here, like, the main guy comes in. That's the trader. Okay, don't care. Village walls. So they've got all the wood they need. They now just need mud bricks. Okay. It's quite nice. Defense, offense, buildings. Let's have a look at their map. 
So yeah, there's the wall that they're building. Plunger. They've got stuff outside the walls then. Okay, so it just seems like an inner wall area. Okay, progression. Upgrading. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, the doors. The doors. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Okay, there's a ton of whatever these are. Ar arid gardens. I was about to say acid gardens. They're not acid gardens. So yeah, look, he's upgrading this wall slowly. I like that. Oh, he's upgrading them. Oh, look at him. He's actually upgrading. Or not upgrading, but he's building. That's nice. That's very nice. That is a very nice touch. I do like the mods that add actual building. Like, yes, they're just copying a template slowly one block at a time as they're coded to, but it feels like they're actually expanding, you know? Doesn't just feel like... Oh, yeah, I added another door this side. Um, this is my random dump chest. Okay. Dump all of that rubbish there. And then I need to go back to the temple at some point. I'll probably do that off camera. Just go grab all the stuff from that temple. Um, however, that is all we have time for this episode. So thank you very much. Okay, that just froze for a second. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please do like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. So thank you very much. And as always, I shall see you in the next one.